The back rooms. You've been here before. Entity number 110, Carnivorous Balloons. Indexed Entity Threat Score, Danger, 2, Intelligence, E, Habitats, Majority, Most Commonly Levels with Narrow Intricate Tunnels and or Many Corners to Hide Behind. Image Caption, A Carnivorous Balloon Attacking a Twig. Description, Entity 110, commonly known as carnivorous balloons, appear as balloons with a ribbon tied around their knot. They fill a sack inside their body with food and slowly let air out through their knot to make its smell waft through the floor, luring starving wanderers and entities to them. When prey is within their range, they'll attack with their venomous ribbon. Carnivorous balloons prefer levels with plenty of hiding spots or poor visibility, as it makes it easier for them to catch their prey by surprise. Behaviors Carnivorous balloons are stationary predators, in a way similar to carnivorous plants. The food they store in their cavity, which usually contains high quantities of ingredients with a strong smell like onions or garlic, is never used as food for the entity, but only as a bait. From their observation, it appears that they aren't interested in any kind of food that isn't raw meat or that they themselves have hunted. Once an unsuspecting wanderer touches the surface of a balloon, the ribbon will tightly grip whatever limb touched it and inject a paralyzing toxin that will render the victim incapable of fighting back. As soon as its prey is successfully paralyzed, the balloon will open the sphincter in its knot and let the food contained inside of its sack fall on the ground. It will then, quote-unquote, bite the victim's limb with its opening and start to digest it. The digestion process is carried out with the use of gaseous ammonia, which is highly corrosive and digests the victim in a similar way to hydrochloric acid in the human stomach. The process can last a few days and the victim will be conscious and able to feel pain until they eventually die from blood loss, dehydration, or buildup of toxic substances in their body. Carnivorous balloons are solitary entities who are incapable of autonomous movement and rely on air currents to move through the floor they reside in. They are not only aggressive towards wanderers and other entities, but any object that moves inside of their range. If a living being or an object is inside their range, but refuses to touch them, they will start blindly flailing their ribbon, hoping to sting them. Biology Carnivorous bal balloons can be of any shape, color, and size. In fact, it's not infrequent to find some animal-shaped specimens. However, they all invariably have a ribbon. Multiple specimens have been dissected in recent times so their anatomy is generally well understood. Although they appear to be made out of common rubber or latex, their external surface is actually thin, contractile tissue. The interior consists of two sacs. One larger sac, making up roughly 80% of a balloon's volume, containing the highly concentrated ammonia gas that balloons use to digest their victims, and a smaller sac, making up roughly 20% of the balloon's volume, containing the food that they use to lure their victims. Where the food comes from is currently unknown. The ribbon is the most sensitive part of the body. It serves both as a sensory organ and as a stinging tentacle. With a structure nearly identical to that of a jellyfish, it has an average length of 120 centimeters. Carnivorous balloons typically have a lifespan of 6 to 8 weeks, after which their knot will loosen up and they will become incapable of keeping the ammonia gas inside them. Discovery it's impossible to accurately determine when this entity first appeared in the back rooms, since experienced wanderers tend to steer clear of balloons because of the party goers. Although, to our knowledge, the party goers are completely unrelated to this entity. The first recorded encounter with the carnivorous balloon occurred in Level 8. A member of the Meg Postal Division, tasked with delivering supplies to the Meg team, Cave Raiders failed to notice the presence of a balloon due to the darkness of the level and accidentally touched it. 
While he did survive the balloon's attack, thanks to the prompt reaction of his teammates, he still suffered severe chemical burns on his right hand and forearm, as well as damage to the eyes that resulted in significant vision loss. Do's and don'ts. Do. Keep two meters of distance between you and the balloon. The average balloon's ribbon is 120 centimeters long, plus 80 centimeters of clearance. Poke them with a long stick, or throw something at them to keep them busy, if keeping your distance is not an option. Don't. Try to pop them, as it will release toxic ammonia gas into the air. Follow the scent of food, unless you're absolutely certain of its origin.